Just 199 yeah. of the people are, are now kept hostage in Gaza, and I'm thinking about young children, thinking about uh, a girl that has autism mm. and she's disabled. Mm. I'm thinking about Holocaust survivors. I think we, we've never experienced anything like that as the Israeli people. We experience wars, we experience terror attacks, never in since Israel was established, we experienced anything that was as barbaric as this human. When Hamas launched its attack on Israel, it said one of its aims was to get Palestinian prisoners out of Israeli jails. So, what's the situation there? Around 5,000 Palestinians are behind bars. This includes 170 minors and 33 women. They are spread across 19 jails in Israel and one that Israel operates in the occupied West Bank. Around 1,000 of them have never had a trial. It's called administrative detention. And Israel uses it to hold Palestinians without charge for an indefinite period based on what they call secret evidence, which isn't disclosed to the detainee or their lawyer. There are hundreds of military orders which essentially criminalize civic activities seen as hostile to the occupation. So people are often locked up for protesting, publishing political material, or even waving the Palestinian flag. Others are accused of more serious attacks, often against Israeli soldiers or military installations. Around 700 Palestinian children are persecuted every year through Israeli military courts. The most common charge is throwing stones which can get you up to 20 years of jail time. In the wake of Hamas's attack, the Palestinian Prisoners Affairs Authority says that Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails have had their access to electricity and water taken away.